Hi friends. I'm in Toronto. What? Oh, you don't care? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm here now. I'm still unpacking, obviously. I've got some uh, movies and games still put away. But I wanted to offer you my one minute Deadpool review because I seemed it. I seemed it. And I got some opinion. So here we go. Going into this thing, I was not excited because, let's face it, there have been a lot of superhero movies as of late, uh, and I just feel a little burnt out on them. Not to say I haven't been enjoying them, I have been, it's just that when you go into another one, it just kind of feels like a rinse and repeat kind of situation. Here we have that, except they're making fun of themselves the whole way through, which is what is so great about Deadpool, is that he's constantly cracking jokes. A lot of fourth wall breaking, there's even uh, a joke in there, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's like a fourth wall inside of fourth wall breaking. Morena Baccarin, who you may recognize from a lot of different things actually. Main female, the only real female I would say that had any personality in this movie. Her character went really well with Ryan Reynolds' character. This is a love story. If you're not fighting for love, then what are you fighting for? Just in time for Valentine's Day. Oh. There is some of this in the movie, and there's also some sex, and a lot of blood. If you know X-Men, if you know these comic book characters, if you know Deadpool, or you've been to a lot of superhero movies in the past, there's going to be a lot of cliched things there, but all of those are being made fun of in this movie in a really clever way. Would I give it a 10? No, but it, uh, it was close enough. It was a good time. Go see it.